This is the most intricate project I've ever done. This is the 3D Puzzle version 2. Stay tuned to the end and see whether it'll all click together or I'll end up scratching my head looking puzzled. If you're wanting to see how to make a 3D puzzle from wood turning, a 3D print with epoxy resin, then this is the video for you. Actually, this project was a byproduct of another creative idea. Superb, a work of art. But I've got all these jigsaw puzzle pieces left over. I could throw them all away, I suppose. Or... Well, in order to complete this project, I had to get a 3D printer, figure out how to print wood filament that didn't want to stick to the base plate, learn free CAD software and the Cura Slicer program, a bit of G-code along the side, work out how to make a leak-proof jigsaw puzzle piece for resin, then turn the whole thing on the lathe without it flying apart, and still end up with a usable jigsaw puzzle. So in essence, it's another easy day at the office then. My apologies about the stringing. It did behave itself in the actual printing, but not in the time lapse. The previous 3D puzzle version received a lot of attention, especially concerning that odd piece. If you haven't seen the video, click on the link in the top right of your screen. Now tell me, did you actually like the odd piece or not? Let me know in the comments below. Should I actually put an odd piece in this one? Now I should have played a bit more with the 3D printer settings to ensure that each piece was printed leak proof. So I had to use a two part super glue to fill in any minor gaps in the base. There was a YouTube video that recommended using latex to protect the outside of your craft piece from being coated with resin spillages, and it certainly was much easier to get off after it had cured. Thanks Sherry Vegas. So when doing the coating with latex, I had some time to reflect that it did take quite a while to try and get the tolerances correct for each puzzle piece. In fact, it took a long time just to figure out how to print the wood and PLA filament correctly. Now each piece took about an hour to print, 50 pieces, well that was a lot, plus all the practice in building up to the final print. Well it took a long time but that's okay. Whenever I get stressed out I tend to cut shapes out of wood with my jigsaw, because as you know a jigsaw is a great coping mechanism. Whilst the majority of pieces behaved themselves, I did have four that sprung a leak and had to borrow an idea from Tommy Lee Jones in The Volcano. Coat the area with superglue and spray the accelerant to form an outer crust to contain the resin. And it worked. Well, kind of. Then we're just left with peeling off the latex and cleaning up each piece.
I had to check that all the tabs and blanks fitted together smoothly, then added a little bit of Vaseline to each piece to help the action a bit. So this is a puzzle within a puzzle. You've got to get the pieces in the right place and also assemble them in the right way. Now I'm not sure how you'd grade the difficulty of this. Maybe it's a level 8, possibly even pushing a 9. It may just end up being so infuriating because all the tabs and blanks fit together and you won't know it's correctly assembled until it's finally assembled. I wonder if Chris Ramsey would be interested in giving this one a go. Or would it beat him and he'll just fall to pieces? Sometimes you need a little magic. Hey, Chris. If anyone has a better idea of how to do this next stage, then please let me know in the comments below. I relied on the assembly method, which would prevent the pieces from flying off and also compressing the project with the tail stock. But I decided to use an insert anyway, try and stabilize the system as much as possible. Using the flat carbide scraper was not the right way to start wood turning this project. It tore out a part of a tab and then I got that sinking feeling that it was all going wrong. And so for the second time ever, I pulled out that pointy tipped one, which was more gentle with the project and I ended up with a cactus. Once all the sharp bits were removed, I could get the round nose scraper into the mix. So the system up to this point was rock solid and I could get the whole thing dry sanded, sealed and then wet sanded before a final polish. It's the same technique that I've used in other projects, so why not check out the link in the top right hand corner of your screen. Well, I've managed to make it this far, but the next section was the most worrying. The piece could slip, 
even a little bit and the project could be ruined. I could only think of taping up the outside, hoping that the adhesive of the tape and the tightish fit of the puzzle pieces might keep things steady. Well, there's only going to be one way to find out. All it takes is one catch, and it's over. One catch, and that project goes flying. Eventually I get through this part and have to reverse the piece and go again from the other side. project survived, and finally it's time to unwrap the 3D puzzle and see if it still works. I used a wood fibre PLA filament, and it does look a little bit like wood, but perhaps it's just too clean. I could vary the temperature in the settings and try and scorch the pieces a little, but that is for another day. A bit of cleanup is needed, and then it's finished. Now the infill pattern could have been neater, probably it's my printer, probably it's my settings. But the whole thing is quite neat, it fits together really well, and actually I'm very happy. But tell me what you think, did I sell out by using a 3D printer? Nonetheless, it's a technical project from start to finish. I guess the challenge is for somebody to make a work in 3D puzzle without the use of a CNC machine or a laser cutter, etc. So let me know how you get on. Well, I hope you enjoyed the project, and if you did like this video, please hammer that like button, glue your finger to the subscribe button, polish and sand that bell icon. That just leaves me to say thanks for watching, and I'll leave you with just how difficult it was trying to put these puzzle pieces together. At least, this was one technique I tried.